With UK coffee sales last year double that of tea sales, it might seem an odd time to try and buck the trend and make us fall in love with our cuppa again. But that is exactly what our next entrepreneurs, Philip Pereira and Omar Farag, have in mind with their new brand of loose tea. Just let that brew. I do like a good cup of tea. Hello, my name is Philip. And I'm Omar. We're here today seeking £50,000 of investment for a 15% equity stake in our business, The Tea Box Company. Around six months ago, we started a mission to get the world drinking loose leaf tea, one cup at a time. Since starting our mission, we've sold over 1,500 units and now supply over 25 restaurants, bars and cafes across the northwest of England. I grew up in Germany, where my mum used to run a tea shop. That's where I found my love for tea. When I came over to the UK, I really struggled to find a good tea at a reasonable price. We also operate a fully comprehensive loose leaf tea blending service called Make Your Own Blend. Here, our customers can log on, choose a tea base that they love, and blend it with over 60 different flavours, resulting in a possible 2 million varieties of tea. The restaurants, bars and cafes that we supply also use this service to create their own unique house blends. Our customers can buy our products from our website and a number of retailers uh, in the um, northwest. We're a small company with a big heart. Uh, thank you for your time, and we'll bring you a cup of tea if you'd like to try one. Yeah, definitely. Great, love one. A refreshing pitch from a pair wanting to change the way we enjoy our national drink. Thank you. They're in search of £50,000 for 15% of their new business. But will this lifestyle product be to the taste of style guru Kelly Hoppen? Hi, Philip and Omar. I'm Kelly. Hi, um, Kelly. You've really brightened up my day because I love loose tea. I prefer it to tea bags. But I think that the, the world we live in, people just grab a tea bag and it's easy. But actually, we're losing out. What is so brilliant about tea is the whole ceremony, isn't it? You brew it and you pour it from a teapot. And what I love about what you've just pitched is the idea of having a unique service where you can mix flavours. I think you've got something here. I'm a designer and I'm looking at this product now and thinking of you know, several different ways that you could better the tube, make smaller boxes. You know, you think of independence stores where they could do a great display, it's very different. This would look fantastic. And I think, you know, you only have to look at someone like Mariage Fraise, I don't know if you know them, in, in Paris, one of the greatest tea houses. They started very small and they have done remarkably well. I'd like to make you an offer but I think that it would take quite a bit of my time because one would need to go to market quickly. I would want 25% of the business for the full amount of the money. But once I would got some of my investment back and I could see that it was making traction, I would drop it to 20%. Okay, thank thank you. you very much. A radical and extraordinary move from Kelly Hoppen as she stakes her claim on the business with an unusually early offer. Will Deborah Meaden be as bold? Can you just give me an idea of your vision for this? So are you looking at retail? Are you looking at wholesale? You know, what are the different yeah, yeah. We, streams to the business? I ask that quite a lot, to be honest. What initially started as just a way of us marketing our product, you know, restaurants, cafes and bars grew organically um, and we get about a 300% um, gross profit on restaurant orders. Um, the retail part is what we really want to right. um, get into. We, we want it to be as accessible as possible. Guys, well, how old are you? Uh, uh, 23. 23. 23? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how much money have you invested in this? £20,000. Mm -hmm. Between you? Yeah, we received like, a grant from the Young Enterprise programme. And how much was that? So it's about um, £12,000. So you've put in 8000 between you? Yeah, 5000 yeah. each, so it's yeah. 22000 So, <laughs> rounding. And you haven't got any other loans or anything? No. no. It's, it's neat. I think it's quite nice. It tastes really good, actually. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> Very glad to hear. 
Could you start with a nice box? No, no. We didn't call it the tea tube company, you called it the tea box company. Because <laughs> the packaging, I don't like it. I think it's just the effort and love you put into the brand and the product is not reflected in this thing you've stuck it in, unfortunately. Yeah. And I've got to say, I can't get that excited about it, if I'm really honest with you. I'm out. Piers Linney's sharp exit gives Kelly Hoppen one less dragon competitor to worry about. And now, Duncan Bannatyne is ready to have his say. I think you've had a really good offer. I think that's the problem I have. And I think there is a lot of work to do. I quite like it, but I'm not going to try and compete with Kelly on those numbers, so I'm going to pull out, so I'm out. OK, thank, thank you. you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Deborah's still in. In terms of income that you need to sustain yourselves ongoing, will you need to take any money out of the business if you took investment? If it was generating yeah. money to take it out. But if it wasn't, how would you live? We could, li like we could live. Um, and where, whereabouts are you based? In Liverpool. If you got investment, would you relocate down to London? Uh, possibly. Yeah, if it's good for the business, then probably. So what you're saying is you do whatever's right at the right time for the business. Yeah. Exactly. And you'd consider it. Guys, I'm going to make you an offer. And it's based around what you've done to date and also what you've just said now, because I actually don't mind you staying in Liverpool. I think Liverpool's beautiful, so I'm very happy with that. It's more the fact that you've demonstrated sheer commitment. If you're willing to uproot yourselves and go wherever the business is, it shows that you're determined to make this a success. I'm going to make you an offer for all of the money for 26% of the company. OK, thank you. Um, this, I think, needs more work than you probably think it does. But, I, but, but what's been holding me in is that you guys, you, you're obviously good and you get it. So I'm going to offer you all of the money um, and I want 25% of the business. A setback for Kelly Hoppen and her early bid to invest in the business as two other dragons come in with equally competitive offers. Three bids have now been tendered, posing a trilemma for the entrepreneurs. It's okay if we just go in the back. Go and talk to each other. <laughs> Thank you. This was not easy. Um, Kelly, we'd like to accept yeah. your offer, please. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Thank you very much. A dragon with bags of enthusiasm and an offer that's hard to beat. The perfect blend for a successful investment. And the entrepreneurs can now leave for a well-earned beverage themselves. That was a good investment, Kelly. Ah, uh, really nice. Having the dragons sort of fighting over you, we're just really over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I still I'm can't believe it, really. <laughs> <laughs>